Okay. Just. Okay. At this time, we're down to uh, public comment, and our first one, uh, Ms. Lay. Sir Gannett, we mind you three minutes. These comments relate back to my comments about the new water meters in the county last month. I do not like being called a liar, no matter how nicely it's phrased. Mr. Alligood, in my opinion, piggybacking on another county's bidding process was not the way to bid out a very expensive water project for Beaufort County. We are two separate counties with two individual bank accounts, two separate boards of commissioners, and different ways of paying for those projects. We expect you and this board to do our bidding, and we expect to be able to look at the bids ourselves should we want to do that. We also want to know how the who the third party that handled that deal was, and was the third party connected in any way to the company that got the bid? In other words, was the third party affiliated with either side? I don't know that. Redirecting the taxpayer's attention also does not delete the facts. The taxpayer's water bill will be increased to cover the cost of that project, and you need to tell them what the probability is of the system being outdated before it is paid for, and exactly how do you plan to save money on this deal. Have you guys ever heard of the old cliche, it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? What's wrong with doing what we've always done? When a meter fails, replace it. Thanks to President Trump, there is light at the end of the tunnel, the economy is getting better, and when it gets better in this tier one county, we might see this in a different light. Right now, we the people want answers to our questions. If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. If I'm not wrong, I expect an apology. And Mr. Booth, I think you were right when you said we need more Hood Richardsons on this board. You'd be Thank you. Grateful too. 